The first book in the Taj Mahal trilogy, The Twentieth Wife, 2002, Indu Sundaresan's debut work of romantic historical fiction, tells the story of one of India's most controversial and brilliant empresses, who almost single-handedly shaped the future of the Mughal Empire. Winner of the 2003 Washington State Book Award, it received overwhelmingly positive reviews following its publication. The author of numerous historical books, Sundaresan studied economics in India and attended graduate school at the University of Delaware. The 20th Wife is set in late 16th century India. The protagonist Maranasa is born in 1577 on the road from Persia to India. Her parents, Persian refugees, are fleeing starvation, poverty, and brutality, they can't afford to look after another child. They consider keeping Maranasa but they don't want to get attached to her. Instead, they abandon her at the roadside and take off with their other children. Instead of leaving Maranasa to die, the gods of fate have other plans. Maranasa is found by royal attendants who are struck by her infant beauty and good nature. The attendants take her to the court of Emperor Akbar, where Akbar falls in love with the baby's dazzling grace. He agrees that she can stay at court and his first wife, Rukaya, will raise her. Maranasa grows up in Akbar's court under the watchful eye of her royal patrons. Akbar ensures she has a thorough education and she learns everything from Persian to Arabic. She is intimidating, yet an alluring child, and Rukaya dotes on her. As she grows into a beautiful young woman, soldiers across the empire want to marry her. A bright future seems inevitable for Maranasa. Although Maranasa is only a commoner, she sets her sights on a very important bachelor, Prince Salim, also known as Jahangir. Akbar's first son and heir, he is supposed to marry a Rajput princess man by. Jahangir's engagement doesn't deter Maranasa because she knows that an emperor is expected to take many wives. Akbar, however, arranges a different marriage for Maranasa. Akbar promises Maranasa to Ali Tsuli, who is older, greedy, and deceitful. Maranasa doesn't want to marry him although she knows there isn't a choice. She owes Akbar everything and cannot betray the love he has shown her. When Akbar dies and Jahangir takes the throne, Maranasa quietly prays for the day when Jahangir will notice her. Before long, Maranasa has bigger problems than unrequited love. Ali Tsuli plots treason against Jahangir and is executed. His crimes place Maranasa under the spotlight for a while, and she does everything she can to prove her innocence to stay alive. By the time Ali Tsuli dies, Jahangir has 19 wives, he is looking for another one to add to his collection. This, Maranasa hopes, is the opportunity she has been waiting for. Maranasa goes all out to attract Jahangir's attention. She spills wine on him one evening, giving her a chance to talk to him. Jahangir is attracted to her and wants her in his harem. Maranasa won't sleep with him, refusing to be a concubine. Maddened by lust, Jahangir proposes to her. Maranasa becomes his twentieth and final wife. Jahangir names her Nur Jahan, or Light of the World. No one can believe that a Persian refugee's child now sits alongside the Mughal emperor. Instead of marrying a powerful and influential woman for political gain, Jahangir has married a commoner. For Maranasa, it is like something out of a fairy tale. The fairy tale can't last forever, as Maranasa finds out. While Ali Tsuli cheated on her with numerous women, none of whom he married, Jahangir places each of his other wives above her. As the 20th wife, she is the lowest-ranking woman in Jahangir's life. To make matters worse, he is addicted to alcohol and opiates, and Maranasa rarely sees him coherent and sober. This is not the life Maranasa spent so many years hoping for. Maranasa decides that there is only one path open to her. She must become the most important wife and make Jahangir change his drunken ways. Usurping the other women is no easy task, however. Every woman in the royal court wants to be the most important wife, and Maranasa has no one she can trust. She must plot her ascension carefully. Rukaya is Maranasa's best shot at an ally ever since Akbar's death. Rukaya has struggled to retain her influence over the royal women. Jagat Gosini, Jahangir's first wife and empress, is slowly pushing Rukaya out of favor. Maranasa clings to Rukaya for moral support, and Rukaya, in turn, promotes Maranasa's interests over Jagat Gosini's. How Maranasa secures her place as empress of the Mughal Empire forms the basis of the next book's plot.
I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.